Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect and indeed a new series today's beverages. A very light and refreshing rhubarb and raspberry flavoured sparkling water. Very hydrating indeed and I'm not too sure what's going on in the splash screen in the background there. But either way in the previous series we were building the Mega Prison. A 40 episode sprawling <laughs> series where we spent nearly 24 in-game hours. Sorry, real hours in-game should I say. Uh, building the facility which was all dormitories. It had a maximum capacity of 1616 which at one point we did hit and it had its ups and downs its events its calamities and if nothing else we know that at that size with that much simulation going on the mm, the performance is compromised to uh, <laughs> maybe use uh, some understated language either way this is the new series and it's going to be the opposite in terms of its scope we want to instead of having a huge dormitory with everything in it we want to go the other way and have quite contained very kitted out cells individual cells where we will have most of their needs looked after and we'll base it around not just a big block like we had there which a lot of people are calling it peach trees from the film dread <laughs> It's a mega block. Um, yeah, we <laughs> we want to go the opposite and have like a sort of town type thing. Now this is notably and admittedly getting away from the obviously original idea of Prison Architect. And I know we will have those comments of, oh, this is not a prison, this is a town, it's luxury and all that sort of thing. Yes, we are aware and we're making a note now that that is the intent because we're just trying something different. We have done this in the past in a previous series, but that was a number of years ago now and we don't have access, or didn't at the time have access to all of the DLC and stuff we have now. So with that said and done, let's jump in. We're going to get up all of our settings and uh, do a rough plan of what we want to achieve in this build over to new prison. And we're going to go with default prison agenda, uniform picker, uniform colour. We're going to come back to the warden and the guard dogs world size will be small starting funds will be a hundred thousand generic units of currency now hang on that seems a bit generous right well it is one of the problems that we're going to have is because of the real estate that we're going to use up to have these uh, very individual cells that are really kitted out is we're not going to have a lot of prisoners and the prisoners that we do have are not necessarily going to be of the highest of category which means income is very very limited and that means we have to make our money other ways and I think the only way to make it is by selling energy which means green energy from the very beginning which is expensive which requires a place to put it and on a small map it's not going to go well so there's two options we can either go for a bigger map I really don't want to do that we've had our fill of large maps for the time being and secondly there is an option in one of the DLCs here to do land expansion which expands all the way around the outside we want somewhere in between which is start the game get the admin block down research land expansion and then build on the right hand side that is the goal okay with that said and done let's go to uh, default plot type we're going to come back to weather and intensity we're not going to have gangs on it's not in the remit of this it's not really the um thing we're going for dynamic rotations we're going to come back to as well we are going to have fog of war off just for visibility's sake fairly conditions on forests on lakes on warden mode <laughs> no uh, no buildings events we will have on we do have a staff needs and also escape plans so there we go uh, over to dlc settings we are not going to have on tropical fever nor the undead we are going to have on prison aging gangs as i said we're not going to bother with for this build uh, we can enable it later on if need be but yeah mainly we're focusing on low weather and intensity and medium rat infestation as well so not something that i think i've done in any previous series rat infestation that's going to be an interesting one we're going to have a default uh plot type we're not going to go bother with the island stuff dynamic reputations we're going to set to medium prisoners have the chance to gain or lose unique reputation traits during their time in the prison based on their activities and experiences inside so basically yeah we're going to have dynamic reputations on and the only time i've had it on previously is well that we failed um <laughs> it it didn't work out at all it was uh, to a point where everybody gained these 
traits where I can't remember exactly how it failed, but it like the people escaped or they could fight easy or something like that. But we're going to try with medium and see how we get on. I may change that in the settings if I can later if it's a problem, but well, the fun's in finding out. We're not going to bother with psych ward and we are going to put on prisoner transfers. And with that, let's go over to the warden. So we've got things like the standard warden, they're just called the warden. We've got the lobbyist, which is half the likelihood of receiving prisoners who are violent, lethal, volatile, deadly, or fighter. I'll select those from the beginning because they look like a mare. And we're doing the town thing. Going to go through the rest of it. We don't want Slugworth or Hudson or uh, the botanist. The botanist, we could do them. Um, Captain J. Locks. Uh, no, Dylan Cook. They're pretty good. Uh, food costs lowered by 25% and programs that require external teachers cost 20% less. Maybe not. We've got uh, X Preacher. What? It's all about undead walk speed and such. Alexis Lynn, Carhide. No, we're going to go with the lobbyist. And for the doggos, we want something. We could have cats. Uh, we could have cats around the town. We've got the Bowtie Bandit. We've got Doge, Dodge, Toby, Bite, Subwoofer, Monarch. Hmm. I think. When in doubt, I'm going to go with cat and play. Ah, and we've got some nice water in the middle. Okay, so first things first, we're going to go to planning, walls, and we'll put a wall around the outside. But we're doing that. More on that later. Over to our intake, just turn that off because we don't want that at all. And we've also got grants as well, which we can pick up at some point. Uh, actually, is it best to pick up short term investment? Oh, you can't. Not at this stage. Right, so, in terms of planning, there's a couple of things I want to do. I want to have the left and right connected from the beginning. It's a security risk, <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyway. We do want a double wall around the outside, but the idea is to expand, okay? So I'm not going to have a wall of, say, 10, like that, because if we do we'll have about a postage stamp worth of size to build. But we do still want a double wall for security. So it's going to be this, for now. All right. This is where we'll have our double gate. And we'll have to have something like that, and something like that. And I don't know how we're going to have access to that, but we'll see. And the idea is, as I said, uh, oh, actually, you know what we'll do? What we'll do is we'll have, we'll have roughly the length of the truck. So s let's just park it there. Roughly the length of the truck. What is that? If we say 10, 10 would be acceptable. So 10 to there, okay? That is where we'll have this go around. And that's going to go around that away. And remove that. Remove that. And this is where we have our gate. So we'll say doors. So we're going to have a door across here. I can't actually mark it, but you understand it's going to go there. Just going to double check is that Oh, actually, we're not. No, 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 no. It needs to be a little bit bigger, doesn't it? Because it needs to fit in there. Let's make it 12, then. Make it 12. Just double check. So internal should be 10, which it is. So that's gate and gate. And when we expand to the right-hand side, this is going to go around. Okay? So hopefully that is understandable. So is it 12? Internal of 10. Yeah, so we'll do that. We'll have our doors. So these are going to be road gates. And we will have a barrier in here as well. Probably a barrier just right across there. And this is all staff only. Okay. So what we want to do, we want to measure the road middle. I think it's five. It is five. So that means seven for the pathways as well. And we'll measure down 40. Like so. So 40 is there. Not that I want that. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna end up redoing that. Oh, okay, right. Try again. Forty is there. So we're gonna have to have a road a bit offset, aren't we? Realistically, it's not gonna work out exactly like we want it, but it'll do. And put our fences, uh, not fences, our doors back in here. And double check from here. Forty. Double check from here. Thirty-nine. So regardless what we do. This is going to be slightly off-center, isn't it? So what I'll do is I'll notably make it off-center like that. So it's going to be 42 to there. 37. Mm. 
Do I need that? 40 to there. It's going to be 30, 90 to there. All right. So that's the middle of the road. And it means that pathways one, two, is that. One, two, three, four, five. And that's the pathway for the road into town. Because all that is going to be road. So it'll follow a rough thing to this. Because we can just use, under flooring, there is road. Acclaimed rubber road. And all this will be road. And then we can have like a T-junction to go off elsewhere. In fact, should we just do that now? Why not? Maybe thread it in between these two bits here. We'll do that. Internal of five. Is that right? And a pathway. What we'll do, we'll shift it along a little bit to there. Okay. I think that's correct. We'll just double check. Internal of five. Check the road width. It's five. So this should be five, which it is, which means pathways, remove, add. And that path will go up to there to what will eventually become another area that we'll expand to. I don't know what we're going to do about down here. Maybe we maybe we just mark that event now and say, yeah, we're going to have that going down there as well. Okay, good. So, that is now in. As I said, the main security is these two here. And a sniper thing there. <laughs> I don't know. We might have to do something like that. Is that a flag? <laughs> we can probably put some colours in there. Norway? Anyway, it's offset. Other flags are available. So, we've got in the garbage and deliveries there. All right, so let's put in... Well, I'll tell you what we should do. We should probably build the cell. Figure out what sort of size we want for our cells. And what I'm going to do is have, say, this area, because it's basically open, and we're going to build the cells here. And then, obviously, with the water, we'll have to work around those and put all the other buildings in, all of that good stuff. So in terms of the size of cell, what sort of size do we want? If we do 8 by 8 what can we fit in? We want an area that looks like it's got individual rooms without actually being rooms because, well, doing that is going to be suboptimal. So if we were to have an entrance in here, like, say, this is the main way in, Maybe, maybe like that. So this is the main way in. I haven't tried this, by the way. I'm just seeing what it would be like. And maybe if we have like a like a bathroom off by this side. So that would have a door there. But we wouldn't have a door because it would section out. And then this could be like the living area. And then this could be the bedroom. We could have an open plan, actually. We don't need it sectioned off. I mean, we could do something like that as a bedroom. And this is like a living room. It's a bit small. I'm not going to have... Mm, I mean, I'm not necessarily ruling out having an individual canteen. I don't think we are. I think we build these cells as like houses almost. And we'll have it so that there'll be like a restaurant or type thing going on, which will be the canteen. Not a restaurant, because a restaurant is a thing. Needless to say, this is going to be very open to inmates and visitors. But, I mean, we could have toilet and shower in there. Could have the bed there. Could have, like, a computer there. Desks. Some things along here, like a radio and a TV. Little cabinets. I mean, that works. <laughs> it, it, it sort of just works there. Um, okay. If we were to have that, are we going to have, like, a little garden yes but not on those ones these are just going to be individual houses ah but they do lead on to where we've got paths what i'm going to do then let's have a do you want to have it we'll have these as semi-detached <laughs> semi-detached right and then Maybe a path going down. This is just rough planning, you understand. This is all part of the plan. So it should be 15, 8 and 8. 
So 15. It means we're not going to fit another one in, are we? If we were to do something like this. Which is a bit of a shame. I guess we could have an individual one. Like that. So pathways like that. And then... Hang on, why is that, that size? That's wrong. Pathways like this. Walls across. And... Yeah, something like that. Then... Another gap. And... Uh, Shame goes to there and does this. Okay. I don't want to... I don't necessarily want to have them built on like this. That doesn't really sit well with me because we are now into the box type of look. And it would be that. No. No. I think... I, th I think at this stage... It sounds horrible, but the design has to overrule practicality. Because otherwise, for probably obvious reasons, we're just going to end up with the default, aren't we? So, let's see. Let's see what we can do. I'm just going to put in the rough little furniture pieces like here and here. And I'm not opposed to changing this, obviously. I think once we've built one, this will be easy because you just clone it. But that could be a set of houses there. And maybe if we just have a just have a gap of one. Like that. And a gap of one. Like that. I'm I'm happy with that. Maybe I shouldn't be. <laughs> but it's actually going to connect up there a bit. Which is a bit weird. Maybe this one has an extra piece. Who knows? Okay. Well, we could do that. Or I could have a gap of two. I'm not too concerned what we have. Uh, that just fits better. Because this wall will be... We're going to expand anyway. So it's... Yeah, we are going to expand anyway, aren't we? So, that is fine. Because the wall, which is limiting us down here, it won't exist eventually. We'll be just knocking it away. Okay, so there's that. We're going to have similar in terms of housing on this side. Eight. But it's going to be by... It's going to be eight by eight. It's going to be cloned that. But what's going to have happen here is in the middle... We're going to have, this is a yard, and maybe do that, and have like a, a yard of like three, connected onto this house, and that's 8 by 12. And 8 by 12, which the path can go down there. Making the obvious point here that None of this is efficient in the slightest. <laughs> in the slightest. But it's different, hopefully. And well, we'll see how we get on. So there's that. Pathways can run across there for now. Like that. And that's just how we've ended up. Like this, with these blocks of housing. So, okay. What are we missing? Well, we're missing a yard. What I'm going to do is have a pathway. Only a singular path, you know. So I'm using a lot of singular paths because we've got this main road thing here, which the prisoners are going to be walking on. Um, and this is going to be a yard. I'm just going to designate all this as yard. All right. In fact, I'll do that now. There it is. There's your yard. Okay. And it would be rude not to do the same thing on this side. Obviously, the game is shouting at us. Very unhappy with our 
placement of a yard in an area that's not currently surrounded by anything, I'm aware. Okay, that's now in. What next? Well, we want a kitchen and canteen, which is like a sort of eatery for the prisoners. And we're going to do that around here. So, haven't yet really specced this out. So, we'll have a main door in there and a main door in here. And this is still a prison. So, I do need to take precautions, as in, I am going to put metal detectors in. We still have to ensure that this works, <laughs> in spite of its quirky design. And we'll just put in things across here, like that. Serving tables can go along here. And we could probably expand this a bit. I'll have an entrance there, an entrance there. Oh, that's, that's probably okay for the size of what we've got. Uh, so, 4, 8, 16, 32. Should we go 64? And then that'll... One, two, three, four. Um, hit 16. Yeah, that'll be... I mean, this is... No, this is more than enough. This is more than enough for the prisoners that we have in here. Okay, that's fine. Kitchen's going to go back here. Very, very um, limited in size. It's going to be that. Okay? So, cookers, fridges, uh, cookers, singular... Oh, gap. Fridge, gap. Needs to be a bit bigger. There we go. That'll be that done. Probably too big anyway, but that's uh, that's fine. We can handle that. Um, over here, then, I'm going to have this go to the end, and what I'll do is I'll have the entrance to the kitchen there. All right. Because at the back here, we're going to have... Mm, well, deliveries and stuff are going to be on the other side. That's, that's just what's going to happen. But this is going to be... A room should be a little bit more descriptive. We haven't got a reception, so we can probably have a reception in here, like a visitor reception as well. It's just so weird having it next to the next to the road. <laughs> it's so weird, but it's it again. It's I'm going with something different. Um. I don't really like that there's not a path around this. So we could do that. This, no, it's only four. That's not going to work. So, I mean, we could do this. And we could have that as storage, to be fair. And we don't need a power room, because we're not going to have utilities. It's all going to be green energy from the very start. Mm. Do we have just that as storage? Yeah, go on then. So it does mean that there is an area we need an area for for visitors. And let's have a pathway going up and across. All right. And then let's have a wall come across and have this as buildings. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Reception. One, two, three, four, five. Visitor reception, one, two, three, four, five. You know what? Why doesn't this why isn't this why doesn't this become building? All this is one building. We can stay here. We can have an entrance there for our for like members of the public that'll come in and then come through here. And then parole and other things. I've had worse ideas. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that and have have this as all of these as well. I'm just gonna do this, okay? Like, there's no real measurement, as you as you're very well aware. And I'm, let's just note down this as having some sort of purpose, right? Each of these will have a purpose. We're not too sure what it is yet, but it'll be one, hopefully. Okay, coming down to there. I mean, realistically, all of that's going to be door. 
eventually. Like that. Pathways. Like I said, there's sort of wasted space here, but I can put like shrubs and other bushes in and such to make it look nice. But realistically, we're just going to knock the wall out anyway. So, yeah, that's why I, what, um, I'm not worrying about it too much. Uh, pathways will go across there as well, like that. That'll be road with uh, that set to doors. Okay. So the door in. Doors would be closer to the right hand side, wouldn't they? Yeah, somewhere like that and like that. Okay, we'll put the walls in. So again, not being too precise on exactly what room does what. But we don't need to. We don't need to be. Right. Well, there's all this bit here, which has not got a purpose. If we were to make a building, it would be... It would be poor. So that's not going to be a building. That is going to be... I think it's going to be a flower garden. Oh, minimum size five by five. Is that five? One, two, three, four, five. Sometimes it just sits. Right, that's a flower garden. Lovely big flower garden right there. Couple of yards. And what are we missing? Right, we don't currently have an area for staff. That's going to be on the right side over here. Because, truth be told, we're going to, when we go to build, use quick build offices, shove, t uh, t shove two offices down, one for finance, one for the um, one for the warden, do research, then expand. And then we can plan over on that side, which includes all sorts of things. We could have forestry, we're going to have, um, yeah, we're going to have that on the right hand side, but we need to, we need to you know, work on what this is going to be. Uh, why does that look so weird? Why does that look so weird? Let me double check my measurements. Yeah, how big's the the road gate? Must be that long. Uh, hang on. Doors. Road gate. It is that wide. That's fine. That is totally fine. I was just thinking, why is that? like it is and it's because it's that isn't it but then you've also got doors on there like that which does matter because I would have got this size of building wrong so this is going to be a couple of buildings actually um, all of this so, we need an infirmary, so we need a medical centre, and we could have whatever this is next to it. We haven't got a chapel. Hmm. This looks like road, doesn't it? <laughs> that, that genuinely could be road, but I'm not. It's going to be a flower garden. I think we'll have to... I mean, we could just have a that right across there and have that as well we've got one two three four buildings that are all the same size are there seven 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 and seven yeah we could do that you could have infirmaries you could have chapels could have all all, all manner of things in there I'm a bit concerned, however, that we're just making a big block again. And the whole idea is to keep them separate like this. Mm. If we were to do that, it's a huge amount of space to waste. I mean, well, let's try it. Let's see what it looks like. Pathways to go around. But remember, this wall's going to be removed at some point. Well, it doesn't necessarily need to be removed, this one. But when we expand, we're going to have to think about exactly what's going to be there. I guess if we do put that like that, we can then put buildings on the other side. This one here will just have more of these housing areas. Hmm. We'll see. So, walls like that. Uh, 
internal of seven. Internal of seven. And internal of more. Could then split that down seven to there. Split it down. Have the buildings along here. I don't know why seven. It just seems to be like a, a, a decent size for for buildings. Hmm. And it's a bit, in terms of sizing, it's they're all weird sizes, but I'm actually fine with that. Like any one of these can become whatever it needs to be. Realistically, but that's all of our space used. <laughs> so, okay, let's do our usual, go down the list. Cells, yes. Holding cells, no, we're not having any. Solitary, mm, none's planned, but I'm not opposed to having one. Dormitory, not at all. Canteen and kitchen, yes. Showers, we're not having any. It's going to be inside each individual little home. Storage, probably over here. Deliveries and garbage will go on the opposite side once we've expanded. Offices, that's going to be the same thing, and there's none yet planned. Common room. Any one of these can be a common room, so like an entertainment forum. Visitation, again, this could be visitation. We could add them in here. Any of these buildings, we've just been quite... I don't think uh, remiss about what we need, but we've just made universal areas, otherwise known as rooms, uh, and we can just place stuff down. Cleaning cupboard, no. Armory, no. Staff room, no. Exports, no. Chapel, again, any one of these or here could become a chapel. Parole, again, yeah, these. Uh, receptions, yes. Gymnasiums, no, but we can probably have one of these as a gym. Uh, padded stuff, no. Vegetable allotments, no. Meeting room, not really at the first instance. Uh, the cinema, we definitely want a cinema. It just feels like a town like this would work for that. Graveyard, we haven't got. Mm, whether or not, no, no, that shouldn't spawn any undead, but anyway, we'll maybe have a graveyard uh, across the way. And we do need a weather centre. And that we also need security. We just haven't got a security room. But that'll be on the other side. So, yeah, I think, I think that might be it. It just feels a bit weird that we've got all this space. Oh, by the way, these here, I'm marking it as walls, but we'll use white picket fence. All right, <laughs> a wooden fence, you get the idea. Um, so these are going to be the, the back garden type things. But yeah, when it comes to designs, this is far and away different from the other stuff we've made. And notably so, it is just different for being just for doing something different. It would just, it's nice just to mix it up a little bit. And um, I realise that these here that we're making, um, we could we could have them mirrored, as in this here. We could we could do that, but just for the sake of ease, I don't mind them being built like this. So, yeah. Okay, what stands out? What stands out is how inefficient this place is going to be. <laughs> but no, it's, I think, I think it's a good idea to try something new. And this is certainly that. My concern is still, it's still financial, actually. I've no doubt that this will be okay. I don't think there'll be any problem. It's just... Are we going to be able to make any sort of money off it? Any at all? I don't know. I think if we go with the... Weather... Weather? <laughs> we have we do have weather and, and temp, uh, weather and temperature on. Yes. If we go with... Um, Yeah, if we go with green energy from the very beginning, it does mean that we can hopefully make money that way. Whether or not that actually works is, well, we'll find out. So these, I'll do these in a moment. So... I guess we need an entrance way into the back. So, I mean, there's, a, there's going to be like this, isn't it? Yeah. 
So similar items. So there's your bed and there's toilets and all that. There's things here. Then you've got that, which not realistically, you can have a door there and a door there into the back garden. It is possible. Again, this is just a rough plan. Uh, it can be changed and will be changed. I'm, I'm, I know for a fact that we're going to be changing stuff based on feedback, but yeah. Let's just get the walls put in, finally, for the rest of this. And this is only the first iteration of this. And I should point out as well, when we expand, because we, def we are definitely expanding, that's the goal anyway, assuming this works. <laughs> assuming the dynamic reputations don't, uh, don't get in the way, because they have done in the past. Um, yeah, so... Assuming we can expand and doesn't fail, the idea would be to have the idea would be to have these as like the basic cell types, and we can then change them up to something even bigger, or even go smaller and have like a like a hotel type thing. I don't know. It is all at the moment up in the air. But, I think, we're going to leave it there for now. That has been a bit of Prison Architect. It just feels weird to have these just this open to the outside. I am hope I've got the measurements right. If not, well, it's going to be fun me redoing them. So, I think we have everything that we need in... And we have the space to get, at minimum, the very basics. Yeah. That's been a bit of Prison Architect. And this is the potential... Well, this is the first draft and potentially the design that we're going to go with for the full build. Let me know what you think in the comments. If nothing else, it's going to be very different from the previous game. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm excited for the freedom that this sort of... This sort of design will afford us. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that beverage was hardly touched. Too busy planning to worry about that. Either way, hope you have enjoyed this episode. And for what it is, the series, let me know in the comments what you think. Comments for tips, changes, uh, uh, overall design overhauls, uh, rip it up and start again. Whatever you think, let me know in the comments. And, well, we shall see in the next episode what we actually start to build we basically want to get in as i said a quick build couple of offices get those grants going and then expand on the right and then we'll do even more planning for that where we can get in all of the green energy sources some forestry maybe some extra stuff that we've missed out maybe even we need like a little prison within the prison i know that sounds a bit daft but what i mean is we need something over there for like solitary and such so we also need, obviously, kennels and security rooms and uh, weather monitoring. Yeah. Yeah. And probably some lightning arresters. <laughs> hmm. Oh, and I haven't put boilers anywhere. Oh, yeah. There's that. Uh, there are probably just going to be little boiler rooms around the outside like we've done previously. Because, yes, there is water pump insulation. We've got pipes. Hmm. Oh, actually, yeah, pipe insulation for freezing, but no radiators, no weather, no, none of that, no, uh, map settings, ah, haven't got temperature on, okay, do you think we should turn temperature on, we've already got weather, let's we'll turn it on. There you go, boilers and such. That's going to be fun. Hmm. Either way, let me know what you think, and we will go from there. <laughs> Excited for the start of the new series, hope you are too. Either way, thanks very much for watching, take care, and generic partings.